everybody, welcome back. Today is unit four. We're going to talk about the sounds in the world. So what is inspiration? What does it mean to be inspired by something? Discuss. Yesterday, I was walking down the street, and I passed a grocery store. And outside of the grocery store, there was an amazing display of eggplants. And I looked at these eggplants, and they, the color of them and the shape of them, they were so beautiful. And it inspired me to cook all these different eggplant recipes. I tried all these different eggplant recipes. I was inspired by seeing the eggplants on the street to cook an eggplant dinner. What are some of the things that have inspired you in your life? Inspiration is when you experience something that gives you a new idea. And it's usually a new idea to create something. So for instance, an author might meet someone on the street or have an experience which inspires them to write a story. What might a painter be inspired by? Maybe something that he or she sees. So what do you think might a composer be inspired by? Remember, a composer is someone who writes music. So what might a composer be inspired by? Maybe some of the sounds that they hear in the world. There are a lot of sounds in the world. Actually, if we're quiet for a second, we might even be able to hear some horns honking on the street below. Perfect. Sounds in everyday life can be turned into music, like that horn honking. I can go, that sounds like a horn honking. My violin can turn sounds in the world into music. I have a challenge for you guys. Sit in total silence for 30 seconds in your classroom and make a list in your head of all the sounds that you hear. Maybe you'll hear people breathing. Maybe you'll hear the pipes clinking. Maybe you'll hear a car door slamming. There are all sorts of sounds in the world when you actually stop to listen to them. OK, I'm going to try and play a bunch of different sounds from the everyday world on my violin. For instance, um, OK, this is a good one. This is one of my favorite ones. A car passing another car really quickly on the highway. Here are some bird sounds. I can make some good bird sounds. Here's my interpretation of raindrops. OK, here's a cat meowing. Here is a train. Here's wind sounds. Here's a motorcycle revving. Now you're going to go onto the website, and you're going to listen to a lot of music by composers that were inspired by the sounds around them. You're going to hear birds. You're going to hear other animals. You're going to hear a lot of stuff. You're also going to look at paintings that have sounds. And you might say to me, what, Sharon? What are you talking about? Paintings don't have sounds. But I think you will know what I mean when you see them. And when you do see them, I want you to discuss with your teachers what kinds of sounds you hear in the paintings. Are they loud? Are they soft? Are they sharp? Are they gentle? Are they intense? What kind of sounds do the paintings make you hear? So have fun, and see you next time. Bye.